We're going to talk about foods you should never give your Doberman because they're poison and you can kill your dog. But we're also going to talk about some myths and some things that have been a little bit blown out of proportion. Grapes, raisins, for some reason, we don't really know why, uh, even science has really no idea why, poisonous to dogs, poisonous, even in small amounts, don't give him grapes or raisins. Nothing to do with it. If you have small children around your dog, and, and I know kids love uh, raisins and, and grapes, don't, don't give them when they're around the dog because the doggy loves them too, and they'll kill him. Coffee. Uh, that's one of the, the things, it's not a myth, it is true, coffee's bad for dogs, so is caffeine, but it's really not going to hurt him in small doses, it's not a big deal. If he gets a little bit of your coffee in the day, no harm, no foul. Beer. <laughs> a lot of dogs really love beer. Now, alcohol is toxic to dogs because they don't handle it as well as we do, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, Cruz got into some liquor. Uh, someone at a party had a little too much and he got into their cup. And uh, so we contacted the vet and it was no big deal. Get over here. There's plenty of instances of dogs becoming alcoholics. Uh, they have the same withdrawal symptoms that uh, me or you would have and they have a hard time with it. Um, so, I mean, a regular thing, uh, alcoholics who have owned dogs have a habit of giving them alcohol. It, it's not a good thing, it's not good for you, it's not good for me, and it's especially not good for them. They don't have the liver, they don't have the uh, capacity to handle the alcohol like we do, and they, be, they can become alcohol poisoned way faster than we can. But if you have a little bit left and he gets a hold of, you spill some and he licks some, you don't need to call the vet, he's gonna be all right. Will chocolate kill your dog? Will chocolate hurt your Doberman? Yes, but it's a little bit blown out of perspective and blown out of proportion. See, a chocolate's bad for your dog, but he's a 100-pound dog, so he can have a lot more chocolate than most dogs can. He's a Doberman, and he's a large dog. Smaller dogs, it doesn't take a lot of chocolate to get them. Now, dark chocolate, I'm just going to say none at all. Don't have any dark chocolate. It has too much theobromine in it, and it can really hurt them. But milk chocolate, he can have quite a bit before it really hurts him. We're talking pounds. Now, if you notice diarrhea, uh, dark tarry stools, uh, it, unnecessary tiredness, uncommon to him, uh, or even depression in dogs is a sign uh, that he may have eaten something bad for him and has a problem, then contact your vet. Uh, but if a little bit of birthday cake falls on the floor and he licks it up, pitted fruits. Now for some reason, Cruz really loves apples. He really loves his apples. But anything with a pit in it uh, can cause him trouble in his stomach. Now apple seeds also contain a small amount of cyanide. And where one apple here and there is not going to be a big deal. Cyanide could build up in his system and over time cause him trouble. Garlic, potato peels. Now potato peels is a tricky one because potatoes themselves, uh, when they're raw form, are not good for your dog. But after they're cooked, a small amount of them, it's okay. Garlic, onion peels, things like that. Now we've, we've noticed that onion at all upsets his stomach terrible and most dogs we had a chihuahua who smelled like taco bell if you had onions at all so onions and garlic stay away from your dog potatoes small amount if they're cooked like in french fries there are people who are going to take everything to the extreme and they're going to say no sugar no salt uh, anything that people have no absolutely no people food but if you really look at some of the commercial foods available uh, for dogs you're going to see that they have a lot of that stuff in them and those dogs aren't dying in mass or these companies would be getting sued. Listen, don't take this advice to say I'm telling you to feed your dog chocolate or I'm telling you to give him apples or I'm telling you to give... Don't take that as that kind of advice. I'm just saying, relax a little bit. You know, if he accidentally gets into some things or he gets a little bit of a treat, don't lose your mind to call the vet and freak out unless he's having some kind of physical symptoms. Just use common sense. Be with your dog. Get him plenty of exercise. Have a reasonably good diet for him. And, uh, Love him. Take care of him. He's going to be fine.